you do not need to be good at Fortnite to qualify in the solo cash cups. In this video, I'm going to explain how to do it if you're just the average player and you're not that great at fighting. All you need is a little bit of knowledge. First off, I'm going to say ignore the name. I went through a name change and I went I I, I went back to King Splash. You guys, King Splash is so much better than Beach Game. Like, let's be honest. But okay, I'm landing the Underworld. I'm going to be landing here all tournament. Even if I die off spawn, all that, you always want to stick through to one drop. Um, I'm landing the back of underworld as you guys can see in the drop i did only get four kills this game which that's kind of the point of this video i'm trying to show that the average player can do well um if you guys want to follow this exact rotation you can i would recommend this rotation not many people do it even in the second round not many people do it but you do have to know the area that way you can back off to whatever place you want so right now i'm rocking a gold aug a sovereign shotgun and the dualies i'm not a fan of the dualies i'm gonna drop them the first chance i get 100 percent of the time dualies only do like 11 12 damage they don't have that much ammo for the amount they spray if that makes sense but i'm i'm not even gonna key that kid back there even though i most likely have the advantage um i'm gonna instantly rotate over to the skulls on the bottom of the screen if you guys want to watch my cursor it's right here i'm gonna go to those skulls so that's gonna have one henchman chest but i do have to kill ais or just avoid the ais to get it i think it's worth going for it if nobody's going for it sometimes i will even fight for it because it's 100 percent worth like the henchman you're getting two henchman chests off this rotate so first i would recommend killing all the ais obviously make sure the like nobody came here make sure there's nobody around before you do it i would recommend killing the ais first and then getting the loot just because they're gonna instantly shoot at you as soon as you open that chest now notice i picked up the fizz the most important thing to carry in this entire tournament regardless of your weapons is a flowberry fizz now the reason for that is there's no mobility in the game right now the only mobility is going to be the berries the the fizz and i'm pretty sure that's it for comp so yeah i mean that it's it's kind of self-explanatory you want to carry fizz at all times i would recommend carrying three big pots and three medkits as long along with fizz uh fizz you only want to use at rotates or times where you absolutely have to use it for shield you can carry minis instead of big pots i prefer big pots just because um they now like fuel your health regardless um, if you pop it fully or not, so say you're in a fight, you pop a big pot. I can only get it to 25. Okay, I mean that was technically a mini, you know. Um, my camera is freezing, so just try to bear with me. Kind of ignore that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and box up right here because zone. I'm technically in zone, but what I didn't know at the time was zone was moving away. I thought I was hoping it would pull. I mean, we all hope zone pulls to us. Um, so in, instead of just chilling in that box, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate. I do, however, notice, yeah, I have good heals. My heals could be a little bit better. So I'm going to rotate this way and specifically because I want to take that vault. Now, the vault, you don't have to go for it. A lot of times you have to fight for it. A lot of times it's not even worth going for it. But I would 100% uh, say go for it, especially if it's uncon like I had it here. And notice as soon as I box that up, my builds aren't even fully built yet. I'm instantly going and grabbing more mats because if I get pushed, I want to have mats. Obviously, you want to have max mats at all times. So as soon as you build that, go get your mats up. So, okay, the vault just opened. Notice how I have medkits instead of big pots. And I didn't even pick up the big pots. I don't know why I didn't. I had four minis. I should have picked up three big pots. Even if I get more minis here, I should pick up the big pots. Yeah, okay, I had six minis and there was three big pots. I should have picked that up. I mean, we all make mistakes, but... Uh, yeah, I definitely should have did that 100%. Um, so th the best, I don't know if I went over this already, but the best loadout you can carry is going to be a gatekeeper or a sovereign shotgun. You don't want to carry a pump shotgun, especially if you're on high ping and you're not the best player. Um, that's because the pump shotgun has, or the hammer pump shotgun, has the most delay in the game right now when it comes to shot to shot to shot. The sovereign shotgun... And the gatekeeper, I would honestly say it's more your call of what you want to carry. But if you're going to carry the gatekeeper, um, I just put the attachments on it. I would recommend carrying or putting on a drum magazine 100%. It doesn't matter what else you have on there. I do a laser and a drum mag 100% of the time. 
um, as well as the AUG, you want to have a red dot, a drum mag, and a suppressor. You can put the reduce ADS on there as well, um, but 100% put the, the red dot and the drum mag and the suppressor. That is the best AUG combination you'll have, hands down. With this guy, I did want to fight him. I really did want to fight him, but for the point of making this video, I decided to let him go by because most of you guys that are on higher ping or aren't like that great at the game no dis like no disrespect at all but like i'm trying to put myself in your guys's shoes so i decided not to push him um and just continue on my rotates you what i'm doing right now is i'm playing dead side of zone meaning the the dead side of zone is going to be the side of zone with the least amount of people so the side that's on the like the furthest way to the edge of the map if that makes sense and right here i'm just gonna box up uh no nothing too special <clears throat> um just get my mats back up immediately after i box up because i have the time for it uh there is somebody cl somewhat close to me you guys can see on the bottom right but i'm not really too concerned about it because they are fighting um there are people in zone two but i'm pretty sure zone's gonna pull away from me in a second anyways so I'm going to go ahead and chill in here and I'll see you guys in a second. What I always do is I don't place a floor. That way I can look through my cone 24-7. You always want to be aware of your surroundings because there could be somebody creeping up on you. There could be a beam you can get. There can be a refresh you can get. I don't need a refresh, but obviously if I if I can get a kill and take his loot, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. You know what I mean? Because I always have the opportunity to get a better shotgun or better heals. I mean, I can't really get better heals, but you know... Um, also right here i was gonna farm this metal when i seen this kid right here and notice how i'm playing this i'm gonna play him nice and slow i didn't want to fight this guy it just wasn't the right place but notice how i'm playing super slow i went for the piece he unfortunately went up and then he double edits on me and i get like i think it was a 30 shot on him so it wasn't much um i do have the drum mag though so i have i'm pretty sure it's five bullets in my gatekeeper as opposed to three i did decide to reload that i'm gonna look for a shot on him here instead of leaving the fight i look for a shot because i knew if i just left he was gonna instantly push me you gotta be able to read players like that so if they're playing aggressive most likely they're gonna keep aggroing you and aggroing you so you just gotta take the fight then and there um i knew i had the health advantage so i ended up wanting to pressure him a little bit more he was taking a med kit and he did armor wall so i was like you know what zone's coming I don't want to waste my med kits. I'm going to go to go to zone. But I do look back. I do try to get some more beams on him. Not to necessarily damage him, but to assert more dominance. Let him know, hey, I might be leaving, but I'm not scared to take this fight. You know what I mean? You don't want to let your opponents know your shambles or you're scared to take a fight or any of that. I do have a kill coming up here. I'm not sh quite sure what kill this is, if I'm being honest. But I'm going to go ahead and keep rotating to the zone. I'm going to pop a med kit, all that. Uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, okay. So as I'm farming this brick, before I even pop the med kit, I do get beamed right here. Yep, there we go. I do remember this now. Um, so I, I was going to take a mini, but I've noticed my shield is up. So I decided to take a med kit. But unfortunately, I only got like five ticks on that med kit because he was about to break my floor because I didn't place a cone on it. So with this guy, I want to play a lot of counter shots. So I'm going to play box fights, counter shots. I noticed he was going for my wood wall, so I decided to edit out on him. I wanted the full piece, but I unfortunately couldn't edit in time. This guy was very, I'm going to jump in your face. So I knew if I gave him the opportunity, he's going to try to jump at me or take the shot. So right here, I baited it. I thought he was, I thought he was going to like go out the side, but he just edited the floor. That was my wall. Luckily, I do notice a third party coming. So I'm going to go ahead and box up. I'm pretty sure it was the guy from earlier. And yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that was the same skin from earlier. I'm gonna take this opportunity since I have that armored wall up. The guy below me wants to chill. I'm gonna take that med kit. Right now I'm trying to read what the person below me is doing. I'm gonna reset my guns. And it, it from what I'm thinking, he still wants to pressure me. So I'm gonna wait for him to do that. That way I can get the counter shot on him. Um uh, because I'm 147. I'm still technically one pumpable. I want to take the more more damage I can off of him, like the most I can as possible. So, I notice he's going for my floor. 
So I try to get counter shots on him. I get cracked to 63. And I try to use my movement to get out of there. See, something he made a mistake of was not knowing what shotgun I have. He has a gatekeeper too. I have a gatekeeper. He has 100% to health advantage. I don't. I honestly don't think his shotgun is reloaded. And he has a fast mag. I'm pretty sure on a shotgun. So, what he did right there was what he did. What he did right there was completely stupid. Even though I was 1 HP, he should not have just jumped in like he did. He could have still sprayed my floor and or possibly tried to pre-box me somewhere. He had great mats. Um, I'm pretty sure that was a huge refresh for me, if I'm not mistaken. But right here, you always want to rotate in wood. Keep in mind, always when you're rotating, rotate in wood unless you're getting sprayed by everybody. So, right here, I'm just going to box up. I didn't mean to break my wall there. I'm going to go ahead and box up, and uh, I'm going to see you guys once I start rotating. Okay, so this guy, I wanted to lobby focus him. I was just, you know, trying to knock off his health, try to grief somebody in my lobby. Because that says I have 114 ammo, but I really don't. I had, like, max ammo, so I was like, okay, F it. I'm gonna just grief somebody you know um but we have about 25 seconds yeah 25 seconds now uh before zone starts rotating so or first for before zone starts closing um so i'm gonna look for my rotate i know exactly the route i want to go now and we have about 10 seconds so i'm gonna take this opportunity to look around to make sure nobody's gonna shoot me when i rotate um because you like i said you always want to be aware of your surroundings so right before zone pops i'm gonna go ahead and fizz and i'm gonna go ahead and rotate i'm gonna go above these builds because if i go below or on the side i have a higher chance of getting shot there's somebody in those boxes too and as soon as i get into that zone i'm going to box up because i know i have an amazing position now i could have double boxed by the way i tried to grief this guy i could have double box i probably should have double boxed but i figured it's full it's full brick everybody's focused on their own thing as long as I don't like over peek anything, I should be fine. This guy got eliminated. I immediately went for this refresh. That was a huge IQ move for me um, because it gave me everything I needed and more. Gave me floppers, all that because I didn't have any more med kits. So that was huge, huge, huge. Uh, on that guy, I also hit him like 114 with a blue gatekeeper. Like I said, blue caper is absolutely amazing. If I wanted to key that guy, I could have probably got the kill. But the only reason I didn't was because I just got a massive refresh right there. And there's people around me as well. So I would have just ended up dying. Now, on this rotate, I did end up using the fizz in my inventory. When I really should have used that fizz that's on the floor right there. But I honestly did not think of it in the moment. Because I'm I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little less slow slow, let's be honest. Now right here I was I did not look for a kill right there. I was looking for the path I wanted to rotate at. Um but I didn't end up going out the left because I did it a little bit too late. So I went straight ahead right here. I should have blocked off my back a little bit more. And because I didn't, it allowed me to get beamed. And I also got third party by another guy beaming, uh, just looking for tags. I did get a little bit of a panic there. As you guys can see, I did jump like two, three times. Um, I was going to full fizz here, but I remembered I still have to rotate. So I'm only going to get myself to like 80, 90 uh, blue health. I got myself to 95. See, I was one tick. Um, I should not have opened this as long as I did, but I knew somebody was coming out. So I decided to try to get a refresh. I hit him like 120, I think, right there. Um, I didn't have time to fizz because I did that for so long. But keep in mind, like I said, rotated wood. That's exactly what I did. I had an armor wall. I noticed somebody was going to shoot at me. So I placed that to block him off. I tank stormed so I can pop a fizz so I can rotate quite a bit easier. 100% worth it. Take like two, three ticks. Doesn't matter because i do have floppers and i know i'm really good at getting refreshed so now i have about 500 600 mats half in hearts half in wood so right now i need to start looking for a refresh but it's not a huge deal like i don't need one right at the second but i do want to start looking because i'm gonna have 500 mats i'm going to pop a fizz i'm gonna rotate i should have looked above to see who was there um i did end up getting my stuck on my builds there but it didn't really matter because i got to the spot i wanted to anyways now I, I wanted to start playing aggressive here so i did try to chop this guy if he did fall i was gonna go for the full piece um my camera keeps freezing so that's why i keep reaching for it by the way uh there did there was a guy right here i got lucky he just jumped in front of my box i don't think he had mats because i pre i'm pretty sure i got like siphon mats from that 
Um, so right here, I'm just looking to like grief everybody's game. The more people's game you can grief during an end game or mid game, the more likely you are to win the game. But don't get too focused on griefing people's games. I wanted to go for height right here, but I was settling for a couple tags. Unfortunately, I got none of that. Did pop a flopper because I was at 70 white and 60 shield. And I wasn't going for another height play right here. Luckily, this guy just decided to do something stupid and not build. I don't think he had mats looking back on it. But, yeah, so I ended up getting that kill. I wanted to reload. I tried to reset everything. Um, I knew I had, like, one or two more armored walls. I thought I had more than I had. So, I armored walled one. Okay. Dropped. I didn't mean to drop. I meant to armor wall this. And because I tried to armor wall it, I got hit for 25 and yeah bro i didn't armor wall it in time little did i know i didn't have more armor walls i just thought it didn't place but yeah bro break breakdown of this game i hope um i really do hope you guys enjoyed it was very like thought out i tried to explain everything the best that i could to the best of my knowledge um i hope this video did help you guys if you did if it did let me know what you learned down in the comments. Also, leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'm live every single day, so I hope to see you guys there.